this is Cinema. And this is Johannes. And you are watching Board Game Rambling. And welcome back to another episode of Keep or Call, this series where we play through our whole collection of 600 games. And then we decide whether to keep or cull them. And we have some winners from the games that we culled two weeks ago. That is true, because the games we are culling, we are giving away. If you're waiting for an email from me, it is coming. Things are just... Life is just going pretty fast and things are happening. So the games are going out to you. It might just take a little while before yeah. it happens. So the winners from the last time, last time, is Seren from Patreon, Juliano from Patreon, Lee not from Patreon, and Glenn not from Patreon. Nice. Uh, which isn't any worse not being from Patreon, but if you are a Patreon, you can throughout the year or throughout the challenge, pick one game that you would just instantly like to win. Yeah. So we're going to go into some stats, because we asked last time if people wanted the stats, because I felt they were kind of like lackluster just being there because they, they started being there. People are like, keep the stats, no one said I don't like the stats. Yeah, and that is kind of true for board gamers in general. Mm -hmm. we, we like stats. We do. We're we stat do. people. Okay, so this week we already told you we were going to not play that many hours and that many games. So this week we played seven hours of games. That's the fewest amount of hours. It is. Last so week, far. Last week was 14 hours and the week before 15 hours. So yeah. it's like half of that. But we have played like five or six hours of an escape room game that we're going to do a review of. So that has added, of course, to, to that playtime, yes. but not for the challenge. This week we also played nine games, but um, you also saw last week was also nine games, but those mm. were then obviously longer games because mm. it took 14 hours. These took only seven hours. Yeah. And one thing people ask about is how far are we along in the challenge? Yes. We have now played 149 games in the challenge. Mm. That means that we are almost, like if we play one more, we're at 25%. That is cool. In two months. So, but we are at 25% when it comes to games. Yeah. And not when it comes to... Time. No, because we have mm. played many shorter games to basically inflate the numbers at the beginning here. Like we played 10, 10 games in yeah. the first day of the challenge. Make our feel, feel better. Yeah, and then we play <laughs> Souls Rebellion, it takes five hours and that's yes. going to add uh, a lot to that uh, as well. So the last thing is going to be how much did Sunova win? Mm. And this week I am the winner! You are? Yes, because you won three times and I won six. Oh, you crushed me! Yeah, you did. I did. I so still had me. fun though. So should we go some games? Yes, okay. let's do it. Let's do games. First off, we have a big heavy box called Sorcerer City. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom. Nice. Yes. I saw you. I, I just almost thought you were going to come. Because I was like turning on the way <laughs> out. So I was like, what's going on now? Uh, like yeah. keeping you this wondering. Is, I've talked about this in great detail earlier this is one of those games i love speed games uh usually you don't because i'm good at them oh, and, yeah, so and good. but 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 this one was like oh i heard about it on kickstarter i was like oh it looks really good but i'm not gonna get anyone to play it with me then i watched a rado play through and i was like yeah i'm gonna get this game and i'm just gonna play it solo if nobody wants to play it with me but this is a very fun game there are a couple of things in it which makes me think maybe one strategy is better than other strategies uh, so maybe hopefully somebody will make an expansion. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's not a game we play often, so it's a game I am wanting to buy. Oh, back of the box. Back of the yeah. box. So what do you want to say? Yeah, so in this game you're building a city uh, in, in time, mm -hmm. uh, real time, and yes. then you're building it again and again, and you're meeting monsters and trying to co collect stuff. Um, I think the monsters are really cool. Mm -hmm. That adds to replayability in yeah. this game, which is my biggest problem with this mm -hmm. game, actually, mm -hmm. is how replayable is it, really? Yeah. But I love the concept of this. You won all the times we played it, so you're you're amazing at this game, but I still have fun when we play it, though. So basically, it's really cool because it is a deck-building, tiling game, which nobody has made before, and Scott may really made it into a thing that makes sense. So yes. I really like it. So we're keeping Sorcerer City. Next up, we have Valley of the Kings. You ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom! This was not surprising to us. I knew we were going to cull this because we, we played it and we, we didn't have fun. Uh, I, I like the concept of uh. it. You're building a deck and then you're like entombing cards, like trash, trashing cards mm -hmm. from your deck, thinning your deck, but then <clears throat> you get points for the cards that you have mm -hmm. trashed. So, which means that you want to keep the good cards in your deck because you can do better stuff but then you will get less points. But when we played it, we played it two players now. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel exciting. 
I was just like, oh, I'm gonna do some stuff. You're drafting kind of from a pyramid that is a little interesting. You're just going to like have the bottom mm. available. Yeah. I can kind of like that, but it wasn't. And and I I don't know if I would like it more with more people. I think we played it with more we played last with time. time. Yeah. Yes. Um, which meant that I had more of this. Oh, I need to do this now. Mm-hmm, I have got mm-hmm. this rush feeling here. When we played two player, I just. It was like, oh, I can do everything I like. This you know, is I've, not exciting. And I've even heard a game is best at two players, uh, maybe three, because this was just really repetitive, just doing the same yeah. over, and it just took forever. Yeah. And it wasn't really exciting. And if somebody gets like a super good combo, like you got like ding, a combo ding. which was just insanely good, yeah. then there was there were no reason for you not to just do that combo yeah, over and over and over time. and over and over again. Just get new cars to entomb them and just do that combo. Mm. And why is that fun to do for an hour? I don't, ah, know. I don't know. So, so we're calling this. This is getting called. Next up, we played, we basically playing another deck builder. Yes. While you're the kings. <laughs> no. That is. <laughs> <laughs> the last one was while you're the kings. This is Mystic Whale. And now we played Dominion. Okay. You ready? <laughs> yes. One, two, three. Boom. This is a nice game. Yeah, I, I like was it. I was ready to call it before we played it. Yeah, I, I was too. <laughs> because that is really fun, because there's many games where you're like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm done with this game. And then we played it, and I'm like, okay, we're going to get some expansions for this. Yeah, yeah. Because this is a very, very fun game. And especially, like, I've there's many expansions. I've heard they are good, especially a few of them. And I feel like I'm done with the base game. I, mm. I need some new mechanisms, some new stuff added in here. But the core concept of this is just really fun. Two players just flow so well, yeah. by like after playing this, after playing Valley of Kings, it's like this is where it's at. This oh, is yeah. very, very good. Really enjoyed it. I was also ready to call this, and I was just like, Oh, we forgot oh, back on the box. Oh, it's that good. Oh, I can't call this. Darn it. Um, it's so it's so simple, but mm-hmm. but yet I get this this really um, addictive feeling to yep. oh I want to go again. Um, and I I like the card crafting system. Mm-hmm. I I think I'm ready to get some expansions for it as well. Yeah. Yeah, and this is one where we played it. I wanted to play it again oh, right yeah. away because yes. it is so much fun. I agree. Awesome. Next up. We have Mystic Whale. <laughs> we played a game called Dominion. You might yes, have heard of it. Yes, we did. Okay, so one, two, three, boom. Yeah, I'm calling Dominion. Um, I know we're not going to call it though because you love the game, but I've never been a fan of Dominion. This is like the classic... What? You've never been a fan? Is this coming out now? Like, no, you knew. Online? <laughs> After 10 years? You're like, I never liked Dominion. What's going on? I don't no. know you anymore. No. I, I, I like Dominion, but mm-hmm. I'm not like a fan of Dominion. No. You know, do you know the difference? But I'm yeah. not, like on Board Game Geek, you can be a fan of different things. I'm not a fan of Dominion on Board oh, Game so Geek. Oh, so we're either. calling this though. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the classic deck building mm-hmm, game, mm-hmm. and it's has like 164 expansions. Yes. And uh, a lot of variability. Back of the box, and this is so full because we've crammed a lot of stuff into it. We have two boxes. Yes, we do. And I just, I had fun when I played it, Mm -hmm. but if um, I'm playing a deck builder, I would rather play Mystic Veil Mm -hmm. or other other games. I think this is a classic game, but if I had my own collection without Mm -hmm. you, this would go. (laughs) So, um... I want to keep this not so much because I think I will play it that much, but this is one of this is one of the few of these nostalgic picks. Yeah, I know. And also because the box is just like how would this this is like five kilos. I don't know how to even ship this, and I don't <laughs> want anyone to have my mess because we threw away all of the expansion yeah, boxes. It's super that messy. was one of the best things I ever did in my life. So if you are a person who has all your expansion boxes, stop doing that. You don't need them. Ziplocs. Because you're yes. thinking maybe I will sell the game. No one else wants the expansion box either. It's just we are hoarders, board gamers. Yeah, we are. Uh, so we're keeping it. I'm saying we're hoarders while keeping a game. I don't think I. But yes. the thing is, hmm, okay, I like the game. I, yeah. I I like the game a lot. I think if I want to play it again, I would like to maybe then like we got a new expansion. Maybe try to actually play with that expansion instead of just pulling random things hmm. to uh, get some of the new mechanisms from the, the last expansion we got. Hmm. Um, hmm. This is one that like. Hmm. This is one like a split personality for me. Like I would not, I think my gaming self would not miss it, 
but my nostalgic collection like this one I was like this was a big deal for me because this was one of the first games I got introduced to after I when I played Magic the Gathering and when I played uh, Munchkin. Yeah, this and was like a gateway for you into board games. Oh wasn't yeah, it? absolutely. I played this uh, at school. Uh, somebody brought them in, and I was like, "Oh, this is a lot of fun. This might be even more fun than Munchkin." <laughs> uh, and and yeah, so so I want to keep it for that. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we have. Underwater City is the only like big game we played this week. Yeah. So you ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom. Great game. Yes, it is. It it is a a um you're basically like an engine, small engine building worker placement game with cards as a really nice neat uh, card mechanism where you play a card and then when you uh, if you play a card with the right color that's the same place that you go doing a worker placement action you get to do the card so basically you're trying to maximize the way that you spend your cards and your actions so that you get the best amount of actions the best possible actions that you can get it is a bit lucky in the drawing of cards. Mm. You might end up getting the colors that you want because, like, and then and then, then there are actions that draws you more cards, but you can only keep three cards at the end of the round. And also, then if you go and take an action that draws more cards, when you really want to do that other action, but you can't because you don't have the cards, and somebody else gets to do a lot of bonus actions. But you did that last time, and I actually won. So yeah. it, it's not. In the end, like because you get that engine, if you get that engine rolling, in the end it doesn't matter that much. I, it's on the, it's not, like the cards aren't as important. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something I don't like. I'm gonna compare it to Terraforming Mars because yeah. people do that. I don't see that comparison at all. Other than you have cards and you build a little engine, build in Terraforming Mars. That's the whole game. Here is a worker placement game, and you have that. So I don't see that comparison at all. Please explain it to me because it makes no sense. Uh, but the kind of randomness in drawing the cards is on the same level. That sometimes it annoys me, sometimes it does not. But the game is very good and I enjoy it. And uh, that's why I want to keep it. Yeah, I agree. This is a very solid game. Like I, I have been waiting a long time to play it because mm -hmm. Uh, it takes a lot of time, it's and long. with with more than two players, it, it can it, it can kind kind of drag. Yeah. Uh, so it was really fun to play it again, and I agree, it's it's like a little tight, but you make a lot of that tightness yourself mm -hmm. by like trying to maximize from what you have on your hand. So yeah. I, I really enjoyed the game. Underwater cities on the key pile. A tiny game. Odin's Ravens. Yes. One, two, three, boom. This is a neat game. Mm -hmm. um, I really love the art style on the game and also the theme, like your Hoonin, Hoonin, and Moonin, <laughs> the two ravens. ravens of Odin, like racing uh, to beat each other. And it's kind of like if you've played Ray Colt mm -hmm. or uh, Robin from Luxley, it's kind of like that because you're like saving up these combos to mm -hmm. fly a long way fast and you're also trying to play some trickery like messing up the road for the other player and um, so i think if you're into kind of those kind of games this is a nice two-player game for you i don't think it has as many similarities other than you're trying to move on a track yeah yeah um, moving uh, on the track but in, yeah, like uh, having the right uh, combination of things yes. in the right order but it's a lot more random like you cannot build up to something like no, in, in right hold and like you're trying to build up to do all oh, are doing all these things at once here it is oh I, I had the cards this is very simple uh -huh. and i like i really like it for that mm -hmm. but uh when when i think of, oh let's play a two-player game mm -hmm. this will like fall fall a little for us because we have so many games you yeah know? And, and the fun thing is like so far we have Killed, I think, 80 or 90% of the two player only games we yeah. have played. Mm. So it, it's really strange because we enjoy playing games with each other, but it, most of the time we don't play these two player only games. Yes, because I don't know we why, have but it's... like a lot of other games that's mm -hmm. great with two also. So we are killing it. And then we're going to go into a game that you won in a competition oh, for being did. so good at the game. It's called Drop It. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. Keep it. Yeah. Yeah. I I hated this game because I played in a competition as well and I had to play it for like two and a half hours, which <laughs> was not really fun. Uh, and then when we played it, I was like, this is really fun and it's so simple and it's uh, different from everything else we have. Yeah, and it's also rules in Danish and Norwegian. Which is so. not a positive thing. I don't yeah. know why. Uh, but th this it's is... a bad picture. Uh, this is kind of a dexterity game. Uh, you're dropping pieces into uh, um, something. Into a small box. Yeah, and trying to make like a legal move. You cannot touch the same color or the mm -hmm. same uh, shape, and it's kind of fun, I think. And you can 
You can it's like a glowing, well. glowing endorsement on the bulk back to the box. It's kind of fun. No, but I, I, if we call this, I don't think I would miss it. Uh -huh. But in some, you know, in some settings in life, you'd mm -hmm. be like, oh, let's play drop it. And then we don't own it and we cry ourselves to sleep. Yes. But yeah, I think like my, my nephew would like to play it with us. And, and it's like, it's one of those, it's very simple, but it is a fun one. Yes. So we I are agree. keeping drop it. We're not dropping it. Then, then we have, have Jetpack Jet Joyride. Joyride. Yep. One, two, three, boom. No surprise there. You're so good at these stress games. Um, this is impossible to play with you. I, I like the concept of the game. It's basically like based on an app, which is called Jetpack Joyride, I presume. It I is. haven't played it myself. I played it a lot. Yes. And you're, you're building a route through this maze with lasers with this Tetromino style uh, pieces. And you're trying to be fast and also mm -hmm. score some bonus points, which I'm, I'm, I'm bad at going fast. And I'm bad at getting the points, mm -hmm. and you're good at both of them. So that annoys me. Yeah. I, I think this might be one of my favorite speed games because it's so quick, um, but it still has a lot of different things you can do. It has a different power up. So if you are bad at the game, you can get some good power ups and maybe get some points. Um, yeah, I think like I'm, I'm just thinking in my head how many more of these speed games do we have? Do we, yeah, and do we need? <laughs> It's, yeah, I, I, I like this game a lot. I think it's a very fun game, but since you don't like it and the players that we usually play with don't, don't like, like to play it, it with yeah. me, so I would then, we would keep it and then you would play without me so that one of you could win. Uh -huh. uh, you would play like the slow more version where you just place one tile mm. after one each other. So it's, it's fine, we can call it. I think it's a great game. I would, I would not be sad to play it again, but I don't mm. want to play it again with people who don't want to play it mm. again. Yes, absolutely. Next up, is it Lostly? Yeah, yeah, I don't have any more. Lostly we have this one. If you saw this one, the turn card. If you <laughs> saw the uh, blindfold challenge Tino did for me, this was one of the hardest boxes to know. Like it's just so hard to know which box this is. So I'm embarrassed. So okay, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. I'm calling everything. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just stricter than you. I I I had. Fun. Or you just don't like games that I like. No, I I. I like this. I like all of those. No, not Dominion. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I I like this. When mm -hmm. we played it, I had fun. Mm -hmm. But then I thought uh, I seldom play these kinds of games. Yeah. And then it's not the same game. So don't make that mistake to think that I think that it's the same game. Which but game? I would rather play Drop It, for example, if I'm in in the dexterity mm -hmm. areas of things, you know? Yeah. Yeah. This is such a beautiful game and we don't own many stacking games. You already tried to call one of them. Uh, <laughs> Which one? I don't remember. Rhino Hero. Oh yeah. Yeah, and the thing is that we don't, be because uh, this is one of those games where I you get so shaky when playing these kind of games. And, mm -hmm. and I, I really enjoy these games. Not because you get shaky, but because I, I just I think those are good this games. this time. You did win, absolutely. I did. Uh, and this one that's better with more, more stuff going on, yes. more points going around. And it's less about the points and more about just the ex like stacking things. Yes. Because you're like, oh, you got three points now. And then you got the last one that was impossible for me to win. Yeah. Even if I, I did, I had to win the last one. And then I randomly got things that was impossible to stack. So, <laughs> so it was not it was possible. It was actually impossible. Uh, but there is another stacking game, which I know you like better. And which one? I like better. Which one? Uh, Meeple Circus. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then the question comes to like, spoiler alert for a further episode. I think I'm going to keep that game. Um, and it has expansion stuff going mm. on. Um, it, it depends on what you want from the game. Mm -hmm. In Mupple Circus, you have more of this competition going on. It's it's, a there's a little uh, drafting as well, uh -huh. where, uh, picking the right thing. It's more of a gaming yes, game. Yes. This has just like you build stuff and that's what you do. Mm -hmm. So if you want to just build stuff, this is the game. But for me, I, I, I think Maple Circus is like more fun for me personally. Mm -hmm. And it's not like this is just like a beautiful game. And that's oh, also. Yeah. And it's so different. And it's like it's a wooden box. It has all these nice wooden components. And I so, like that you're selling the game to me. No, no, Please, but my, let us keep no, it. No, no, I'm inside of inside of me. I'm trying to, to not sell the game to myself. Um, because this is one of those that I I don't know when I will play it. 
Yeah. And if I look at the games that we have kept so far, I would probably pick 95% of them before mm. I pick this. Mm. Hopefully 100% because I kept yeah, because them. Because that's the so a sad thing about owning a lot of games. Mm -hmm. This is has been on our shelf for like many 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 years actually this and was in the in the gaming club and i, I mean, got it, was, it when we when yeah. we stopped the gaming but club we're not playing it it's just sitting there that is that lonely is, but that is true sad. for almost all the games like we own Story. like when then we can call this home. then we can call on the what it is like we're yeah, not gonna play it at all so that is not an argument like <laughs> but 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 it comes to very low down on the list when we get to choose a game that we want to play yeah but then like i'm, I'm asking myself like in which Settings where I play this and that would be like when we play with many new players because it's very simple And we don't often do that mm. and it will be playing with my nephew But then we can play Rhino Hero Super Battle for yeah. a few more years and then we can play probably Beeple's Rogue's after that yeah. So I am gonna be okay with calling it. It's yep. fine. So for the people who say I always keep my games These of you I'm crying now inside, but I'm just doing <laughs> it to, 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 to tell to you show, you're wrong Show you. Okay, so that is nine more games. We always Manage to actually speak the same amount of time depending on the games. Yes, actually, we've we've called um, a larger percent uh, now yeah. than last time. Like fifty percent almost. Yeah. So one thing people want to know is what was your favorite game of the week? Uh, it's Underwater Cities mm -hmm. or Mystic Vale. I had a lot of fun with both mm -hmm. of them, and those were like the highlights of the week for me. I agree. They're very different, but I think Underwater Cities because it's a heavier big game. The only one we got to play this week. Yeah. And what was your least favorite experience of the week? <laughs> this one, for sure. Warrior Kings. Yeah, um, I agree. Many people love it, but it wasn't for us. Yeah, I, I... You don't need to own all the games. And when I look at that pile, I'm very mm -hmm. happy. And when I look at this pile, I'm just like, ah, I, I, I will not miss it. So I think I'm happy with that too. That is true. And, and now like we, we, we are not playing the same amount of games that we did. Uh, this week obviously we played very few games and mm. very short number of hours. I think maybe the hours played are more important than the games number played actually. Mm. Like last week we played Rebellion. It took us almost five hours with explanation yeah. and all of that. And and we like it, I'm, I'm not stressing out to play many games now. I yeah. think... I, I, we, we do stuff for reviews as well, mm -hmm. which, which also takes up some amount of time in mm -hmm. the week. I'm looking forward to, or looking forward to, I'm, I'm curious to see when October comes mm -hmm. and new games are released, how, like, how Back much, up. yeah, 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 that, that will be weird. I think. We will see, like, maybe when we come up there, depending on if Essen happens or what mm. happens this year, we yeah. don't know. If Essen isn't happen, it's going to be easier because we're going yeah. to get fewer of those new games to really click quickly. But maybe we, if, if, if Spiel happens, somehow we will probably say, like, okay, we're going to do, like, two months without Keeper Curl or mm. just do, like, a few games because then we need to get out all of these new games at once. And then we're going to go into next year, but that's the worst thing that can happen, so... Who really cares? As yeah. long as people are enjoying it and we are enjoying it, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, we're having fun. I, 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 we're having a blast. And that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still here, please click the subscribe button. If you have not already, it's free and it makes us happy. <laughs> if you enjoy what we do and you have some money to spare, we would love it if you go to patreon.com slash boardgamingramblings. Of course, no pressure. Yes. Everything here is free for everyone forever. Yeah. forever. So, uh, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Sinwa. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And bye bye.